Welcome back. This is another update from Equator. And uh, first of all, Happy New Year to all of you that are following this project. We really appreciate it. And we finally now had the opportunity to start packing the airplane for transportation up to Egemont Technology Park, where we are very, very fortunate to have um, Ola Trondru uh, borrow us his uh, beautiful hangar. So that was finally freed up now and we could start to do this very very large milestone where the aircraft is um, going to the airport. Hopefully um, from then on and the aircraft will be assembled and tested accordingly so this is really really uh, a uh, fun time in this project. But first and foremost, of course, every time we go on the road and we start to uh, put this aeroplane on this trailer, this is actually something that is always pretty um, daunting to drive this thing on the road and specifically now in the winter time. Um, it is a very high risk that somebody might plow into the thing or that something might happen. So we're always very cautious about uh, transporta transportation on, on the road. But here you can see we're using these this modified trailer that we uh, that we used for transporting the aircraft to uh, to Germany uh, last year, early last year. And of course, this trip is going to be much shorter. It's about an hour's drive, so luckily, not as much uh, time to get panicky about uh, transportation as the last trip we did. But uh, but in any case, it always needs to be done properly and. Um, uh, putting the aircraft in place and, and tying it down is uh, superbly important. So me and John, we were working on this uh, all, all weekend and Monday and Tuesday as well to get everything ready. And um, it's just a very strange thing to be uh, to be at this stage in the project where we can start to really see uh, the aircraft kind of closing in on this really uh, exciting uh, uh, flight that we hope will happen sometime this spring. Um, here you can see the uh, wings going on as well onto these brackets that we have uh, installed and it looks very uh, <coughs> very insecure but it, they're actually fixed really well to the to the spa so they are uh, they are in fact really firmly on on the trailer there so we also tried to uh, pack as many of the tools as we could get in the uh, in the van and we will be for the next couple of days and maybe the week as well uh, back and forth transporting tools and equipment up to the hangar because there will be minor modifications that need to be done and we need to have our tools available to do that um, the transportation went fine. Luckily, you can see the weather and the, and the snow and everything in Norway really is complicated now. It really is really difficult to do these kinds of things in this uh, kind of climate. It's uh, 10 below Celsius. It's a lot of snow, so um, we just had to drive carefully and, and get it done. So we got up there, and I didn't have the time to film as much up at the uh, up at the airport just because we had to get everything done before the dark came in. We just had a couple of hours there but this facility is just fantastic and I just have to say a big thank you to Ura Trondru and the guys at Egemon Technology Park. Uh, you can look it up at egemon.no uh, to find out more about this amazing airport with a huge facility, huge runway, um, everything you could wish for to do testing of new experimental aircraft really. So hopefully next update will be shortly with some taxing so uh, thank you so much for watching and see you again soon